Here's another Tip Tuesday for you. Uh, I've been getting quite a few inquiries about my axis hunts and so I thought I would kind of talk a little bit about questions you should be asking when you're inquiring about an axis hunt or trying to book an axis hunt. Um, not all axis are created the same. Some ranches you hunt high fence, some ranches you hunt low fence and and you know some ranches have them in general population. That's where they're high fence and the ranch is 5,000 acres and they're in one pasture with all the other animals and, they're, and that's general population. A lot of people don't realize that ranch, some ranches will have an axis trap or an axis pasture and that's where the ranch is 5,000 acres. You go through four different gates. You finally get to one gate and you're like, man, what are we doing? I thought we were hunting 5,000 acres. Well, you are. But the axis trap or the axis pasture is 200 acres or 500 acres or 1,000 acres. So it's inquire to see if they're in general population if you're hunting high fence because um, they, they're not always in general population. They could be in a separate trap so you could be hunting a smaller piece of ground. Um, ask how they're going to hunt. Are you going to be hunting out of blinds over feeders. I don't hunt out over blind or I don't hunt over feeders out of blinds. All of my axis hunts are spot and stalk. Um, we're killing big axis that way and it keeps the axis nice and calm. Uh, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with blind hunting or feeders. Uh, occasionally when I have hunters that can't walk I'll do that but to me it's a lot more fun to get out there with the animals. It's more of, of what I would consider a, a more interactive hunt when the animals are calling and you're responding or you're calling the animals and they're responding and coming to you to me that's a lot more fun than sitting in a box looking at a feeder um, there's nothing illegal with hunting at night hunting exotics so once again I've heard some horror stories where some of the people that have hunted with me have gone on other hunts and th those those hunts or those ranches or outfitters only wanted to hunt at night or mainly hunted at night with a spotlight. Nothing illegal against that. There's nothing illegal um, with hunting axis at night with a spotlight in Texas. They're non-native invasive game animals, so the Parks and Wildlife doesn't care. You can hunt them all night with a spotlight. It's no big deal. So it's not illegal. But you may be unpleasantly surprised if you're wanting to hunt during daylight hours and then they take you out at night. Um, you know, there's, there's plenty of questions to ask. If people are only talking about axis with one beam length, to me that's a red flag because it's just one measurement. I made another video about that. I'll try and link it to this video. Um, but talk about axis and how they score, not just one measurement because it doesn't tell you anything. This, this axis is over 180 inches and he's number eight in the world and his longest main beam, this one is, I don't even think it's 33 inches. So, you know, main beam length is nothing. So talk about axis and score. If you're looking for big axis, they need to be 150 inches or bigger to, to be gold medal SCI. So ask them what they're killing. Do they really know the score of their animals and are they, are they really talking to you about what an axis is or are they just talking about one beam measurement which tells you nothing so um, if you're looking for a big axis make sure they know what a gold medal axis is and make sure they know what that score is um, I'm not saying you have to hunt a score but if if you're looking for a big axis main beam length is very inconsequential in the score of the deer um, you know you might want to ask how many hunts they're running every year uh, are they guiding all the hunts themselves or do they have other guides guiding for them? Are you going to be staying on the ranch or are you going to be staying in one facility and going to multiple ranches? I've, I've, I've had guys that have had some rough accommodations. And, you know, you may want to ask about that, especially if you're bringing a wife or girlfriend or entertaining clients who want some nicer accommodations. Obviously, you want to ask about those. and. And then look at what they're killing on social media. If people aren't posting pictures for the last several years, now I know in 
February of 2021, we had a catastrophic freeze or a 100 year freeze. And that hurt the deer for the summer, the rut hunts of 21. I still killed a deer that was well over 170. He's going to be number, I think he's going to fall in number 12 or 13 in the world. Um, even with the catastrophic freeze, still killed big deer. Killed another deer that was high 60s. So there were still big deer killed, but last this past summer, the summer of 21, is not indicative. But if they don't have a bunch of pictures of big axis, and, and people are taking pictures with crazy angles trying to make them look bigger they tilt their head forward and and make the horns look bigger and you know if you this is a big deer just take a picture of him he's big let him be big don't distort your pictures and if if their pictures are all distorted then you know just take a look at how the animal is facing and if his head's tilted forward and his antlers are coming out of the picture more than his nose well that's a you might want to pay attention to that because the deer's not as big as they're trying to make him look. So the only thing that's common between axis deer hunts is they're all red with white spots like this guy. They all have a white belly and white legs. Other than that, that's where the commonalities end or similarities end on axis because there's prices all over the board. Axis have gone up substantially since the freeze in February of 21 but still there's a lot of phone calls that i'm getting right now um and i'm way booked i mean we're we're almost at the end of the, the year for 21 so i'm already almost full for next summer so if you're looking to book a hunt for the the rut hunts which is may through july that's the best time to hunt axis uh, i thought these questions might might help you kind of make a decision on who you're going to hunt with and, and hopefully it kind of helps you sift through all the different access outfitters out there or ranches that are offering access hunts because there's a pile of them and it's hard to tell the difference between a $3,000 access hunt and a $4,500 access hunt unless you really know the questions to ask and, and who to talk to and, and what you're looking for. So if you're just going off a of price, as hopefully you're starting to learn, you don't you get what you pay for so you don't always get a cadillac for a kia price so kind of keep those things in mind and and ask a few questions and educate yourself on the operation that the outfitter or the ranch is running and uh, you know hopefully hopefully this helps you out and hopefully it, it keeps people from going on hunts and not getting what they're looking for so anyhow if you got any questions need any more info let me know i'll be happy to happy to help you out but hope that helps and y'all take care